Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. I want to look at Father Michel Rodrigue in this video. I want to talk about this most diabolical of false prophets. He has resurfaced again recently with another crazy prediction. I thought that we had seen the last of this guy when last year he made some really inaccurate predictions that never came to pass. Uh, he's a dangerous and I think an evil, deluded, maybe demonically possessed man. And he is being supported and promoted by a lot of people who are gaining financially from his false prophecies. There's a whole gang of people on YouTube and in the so-called prophetic movement who have got books and videos that are getting loads of views and loads of purchases. These people are making thousands of pounds by promoting fear through false prophecies of Father Michel Rodrigue. A background. I want to show it's quite difficult. What's quite difficult is finding some of Father Michel's writings from a few years back. A lot of that is, is no longer out there. It's really hard to find. But I managed to find some stuff from last year reminding us of what Father Michel said last summer and last year in the spring. Oh, I'm talking 2020. He said some really outlandish things and he promoted a lot of fear. I've got on our screen a text of some of the things he said that were going to happen in 2020. Right, here we go. He said, My dear people of God, we're now passing a test. The great events of purification will begin this fall. So like September 2020. Be ready with the rosary to disarm Satan and protect our people. Make sure that you are in the state of grace by having made your general confession to a Catholic priest. The spiritual battle will begin. Remember these words. The month of the rosary will see great things. Right, so that's in one letter. And then another letter, in March 24th, 2020. And I tried to find the full text of this letter, but I'm only able to find in site after site after site, versions with ellipsis in, where you don't get the whole section. It's amazing how this same thing is being copied everywhere. Anyway, let me read it out anyway. After this period of compulsory confinement, Life will resume its course. The summer period will open a window of time where we will be able to prepare well for the coming test, that of being with Jesus on the cross. We cannot see the glorious cross without encountering the cross with Jesus. Okay, stop, pause there. Glorious cross, he's there speaking about his, inter his view of the warning, I think, right? His view of the warning is that you see a big glorious cross, uh, you see the state of your soul, that's his view of the warning, I think. So I think he's referring to that. So he's saying prior to the warning, some really bad stuff's going to happen. It's continuing. You must now consecrate your house or apartment to your eternal father through the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary, if you had not done so. We must regularly bless our place, our homes with exorcised holy water. During this summer, you need to prepare a food supply for a period of three months with drinking water we drink your water too. You'll need to have made your general confession before the fall. The prayer of the Holy Rosary or St. Michael the Angel and that of your guardian angels will be your comfort, your strength, your protection. So let's stop there. Before the fall, you need three months supply of water and food. You also need to have made a general confession because quite clearly, Stuff is going to go down in the fall that's really awful. You're not going to be able to go to confession and you're not going to be able to, be able to buy food. You're not going to be able to get water. And that's why he, in another section, writes, there'll be a famine. There'll be, they'll have money, but there won't be any bread. You'll be able to, you'll have money, but you won't be able to buy things because there's going to be a money crash, an economic crash. Everything's going to disappear. There's going to be a great uprising, revolution in the streets, people fighting each other openly, martial law, war everywhere, third world war, one third of humanity is going to die, uh, blah, blah, lots of that stuff. Seven nuclear, miss nuclear missiles are going to strike the USA. 
um, and but not so many because of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and Korea and Iran are going to bring about this war. So the time is urgent, we're in a time of emergency, uh, there's going to be lots of persecution, etc, etc, etc. It was all meant to happen last fall. The reason you were meant to get the stockpile of food and be on your own in some bunker somewhere is because all this terrible stuff was going to happen. In fact, this all ties in with his other stuff about refugees. So last fall, also, we were meant to be, if you were like really holy uh, and you'd consecrated yourself or something, then you, or you had like a statue of the Holy Family, something like that, your guardian angel, the tongue of fire, would conduct you to refuges which had been built by people, actually built by people, and you'd be safe in that refuge while all the destruction went on for the three months, the three months. So it didn't happen. It did not happen. And that should have been the end of Father Michel Rodrigue. That should have been it. Not only that, but in the course of summer last year, we had his condemnation, both by the bishop of the place where he was living and by the bishop in the diocese in which he's incarnated in. His supporters, after the first bishop, said, oh yeah, Father Michel Rodrigue, he's not the real, you know, Father Michel Rodrigue, he has been suspended by me, his faculties are being removed, I don't approve his messages. After the first bishop said that, in this letter that you can see here, Bishop uh, Limay, or Bishop of Amos, he gave a, <laughs> really, and also whacking the supporters, especially this Watkins, Christine Watkins, who is profiting enormously, enormously from Michelle Rodrigue's outlandish predictions. If you look at her videos and the, the, the number one bestsellers that she's got promoting Rodrigue, they ha and she and her crowd haven't taken anything down of Michel Rodrigue, even though his own bishop, both bishops, both the ones where he lives and the one where he's been incarnated, they both uh, said they, they do not uh, accept him, they do not endorse his message, they do not want him to be promoted. These guys continue to promote him. Most worrying of all on the Countdown to the Kingdom website is that they say Basically, they say, look, we don't think that the bishops have properly condemned and suspended and and told us that we cannot support Rodrigue or promote his messages anymore. We don't believe they done it. we've done it prop they've done it properly. And then they add as a little sting, were a bishop to issue a formal condemnation of Father Michel Rodrigue's messages, and were the prophecies of the warning testimonies in World War Three, Three Days of Darkness, Era of Peace, then occur such a condemnation will reflect poorly on said bishop and on the Catholic Church as a whole. An erroneous condemnation will put into question the sanctity and surety of any bishop's official, official statement, which is presumed utterly correct and to come from a thorough investigation. What about the opposite? What about when these things don't happen this year? What about when these things didn't happen last year? That reflects pretty bad on you, Countdown to the Kingdom, yet you continue to promote him. You're saying essentially here, we will never accept any condemnation of Father Michel Rodrigue because, because, you, because that bishop who would make such a condemnation would neither be holy or reliable. They have decided already that they are never going to accept any condemnation of Rodrigue. They've decided that already and that's because they are making so much money from his material and so many views from their monetized videos. And even after Michel Rodrigue had a complete failure last autumn, a complete and total failure, now he's recently come out with some stuff about this coming December. This coming December Father Michel Rodrigue has said that there is now going to be another staff happening December the 8th. December the 8th, Feast of the Immaculate Conception, Michel Rodrigue has started to say that, that there's going to be something terrible happening this December the 8th. He's already been extremely incorrect once 
and he's already caused a lot of damage, fear, panic, people stocking up food. I'm going to do another vid video on the st food stocking and the refugees stuff because there's, there's more that can be said about that. Nothing's going to happen December the 8th. Do not buy loads of food. Do not expect to be taken to some refuge. Don't expect World War Three to break out. Just go to confession as normal. We should all go to confession every week if possible anyway. Just go to confession as normal. Do not pay any attention to Father Michel Rodrigue. He is a fraud, a total fraud. Jimmy Akin has done an amazing video analyzing this man's fraudulent claims, his lies, saying that he's an exorcist. Then the bishop, both bishops, says he was never an exorcist in either one of their dioceses. He claims that he raised people from the dead in the middle of a church service, yet there's no there's no evidence of it happening in local press. He claims that he was poisoned by the Russians. No evidence anywhere of this poisoning taking place in, in Canada. He is full of false claims. Jimmy Aiken has done an amazing analysis. And the travesty is that Jimmy Aiken's awesome video where he exposes Michelle Rodrigue. Here we are on my screen now. We've got 10,000 views. It's gone 10,000 views, whereas the Watkins and the other the other profiteers have got videos on this same charlatan that have got hundreds of thousands of views. Too many people are listening to the charlatans because they you know, they almost want this to be true, don't they? People want this to be true, and they're frightened, you know. <laughs> If someone's telling you, um, you know, elsewhere, he talks about this Mark of the Beast stuff, which is so evil, even linking it to like a COVID vaccine, as if that's going to be a Mark of the Beast. He's so deluded and other false visionaries have jumped on the bandwagon of this one, as if some vaccine can be a Mark of a Beast. The Mark of the Beast is a willful act of a apostasy and wanting to belong to the evil one. It's not a vaccine. And obviously there are multiple COVID vaccines. It's not a vaccine which the church and every decent moral theologian has said is uh, it's illicit, illicit thing you can take because it's a remote material cooperation with evil. It might be in conscience someone doesn't want to take it, but we're not talking about something that's so evil that doing it constitutes the mark of the beast. No more than buying, you know, Ben and Jerry's ice cream is the mark of the beast or going to Starbucks or, or any one of these groups that has in some way had some support of evil uh, Planned Parenthood, abortion, unnatural marriage. You know, there are so many of these fraudulent seers going on now. And and that unfortunately, there's so many YouTubers promoting them. And they've all monetized their videos, of course. They've all monetized their videos and are raking in money as people watch their fraudulent. And they say, oh, this is for your discernment, for your discernment. <laughs> we don't need... We don't need to discern these idiots. They are so false, it is beyond belief. I want you to alter, if you are in any way interested in Father Michel Rodrigue, take a look at Jimmy Aiken's video on the guy. He completely explodes, exposes this uh, false prophet who said that there were ap apocalyptic events about to start in October 2020. They never happened. And now he's come back and it's said that it's, you know, Michel Rodrigue, he went off the grid apparently and he was only able to be contacted by writing, you know, probably because a bishop had sent loads of emails to him saying, you are suspended, you are going to be excommunicated. And Michelle knew that this stuff was coming by phone and email, so he probably, for that reason, went off the grid. But now, apparently, he's gone in communication again by a letter to say to one of his followers to say that there's going to be something now. It's been it's now happening in in December because December is the end of the year of Saint Joseph, and Michelle Rodrigue gives us a new interpretation of 
of the restrainer. I think it's in Second Thessalonians. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, St. Paul talks about that there's a restrainer that is pre preventing the Antichrist emerging. And Michelle Rodrigue says, oh yeah, that restrainer is St. Joseph. And St. Joseph's going to get out of the way when the year of St. Joseph comes to an end. And so then we're going to have the Antichrist on the scene. He's wrong about St. Joseph being the restrainer. That's not in the early church fathers at all. The church fathers either say that the restrainer is Michael the Archangel or it is the Roman Empire. That's what they, in the early church, they thought St. Paul was talking about when he was talking about the restrainer. This idea of being St. Joseph is a complete innovation. And why St. Joseph would be getting out of the scene, getting off the scene, just because the year of St. Joseph has come to an end, that seems ridiculous. There's been more devotion to St. Joseph this year than for many, many years. In fact, St. Joseph is more here than ever before. The restrainer is not getting out of the way. The restrainer, if St. Joseph were the restrainer, is here to an even greater extent. So his idea of December the 8th is ridiculous. And he's got such a poor track record, no one should take him seriously. Garabandalistas should not take him seriously because... Because, you know, his chronology is completely different from Garabandal. He's saying that there's going to be massive global, chast massive global equivalent to chastisement, Third World War, before warning. That doesn't make sense. And then if you believe in, in Fatima, again, his, his views don't make sense either because... You know, Russia being consecrated, that's not part of his message. He doesn't seem to be worried about that at all. Michel Rodrigue, Father Michel Rodrigue, is obviously linked to Medjugorje. He's one of the many fruits of Medjugorje, my friends, and we need to keep well away from him. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.